Hello, today I'm going to show you how to calculate the odds of winning first prize in Lotto with a system 20 entry. So a standard game is uh, six numbers from 45 in uh, Australian Lotto, and, but today I'm going to play a system 20 entry and actually pick 20 numbers from 45 and uh, show you how to calculate the odds based on, um, based on these 20 numbers that I've uh, selected. So what I'll do, I've got this uh, template of a, a game coupon and I'm just going to randomly select uh, 20 numbers from, from, the, uh, from the 45. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14... Uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so I've got 20 random numbers picked out of out of the 45, and you're sitting down to watch the uh, lotto draw, and as the, uh, the first number's drawn then, as the first number's drawn, you've actually got 20 chances of, uh, in 45, of matching, the first number that's drawn. And that's because there's 20 um, numbers there that you've marked with a black X and there's uh, 45 balls in the barrel. So when the first number's drawn, then you've got 20 chances in 45 of matching the first number that's drawn. And to show that the, uh, the you have actually matched one of those numbers, I'll um, just randomly um, mark off a number and assume that 22 there was the first number that's drawn. Now when the second number that's draw is drawn then, you're left with uh, 19 um, boxes that have got a you know the black X in it that you've marked, uh, 19 numbers that you've selected left, um, and, and uh, one number's already come out of the barrel, so you've actually got 19 chances then in 44. 19 chances in 44 of matching the second number that's drawn. And to show that that uh, you have actually matched uh, that number, we'll assume that uh, 19 was the second number that was drawn, and I'll randomly mark off, uh, off number 19 to show that, that that number has been matched. Okay, so now when the uh, third number this is drawn then, you're left with 18 boxes that have got a uh, black X in them, so 18 numbers that haven't been matched. So you've got 18, uh, 18 numbers there. And now two numbers have already come out of the barrel. So you're left with, uh, there's 43 numbers left in the barrel. So you've got 18 chances in 43 then of matching the third number that's drawn. And to show that you have actually matched one of those numbers, we'll assume that 32 was the third number that was drawn and I'll match, uh, mark off uh, number 32 to show that that number has actually been matched. Okay, so now when the, uh, the fourth number that is drawn then, you've got um, 17 now, 17 un, uh, unmatched uh, numbers that you've selected, 17 numbers with a, um, uh, you know, with a X in them that uh, haven't, been, um, haven't been matched, and now three numbers have come out of the barrel, so you're left with 17 chances in uh, 42 of matching the fourth number that's drawn. So, uh, so yeah, another number I need to match off. So let's, let's assume it was number 26. And so I'll mark off there to show that uh, four numbers out of your 20 have actually been matched. Now when the fifth number is drawn then, you've got uh, 16 then numbers that have um, you've marked off but unmatched with the numbers that are drawn so far. So there'll be 16 of those black X's left. And uh, four numbers have already come out of the barrel. So you're left with uh, 41 numbers in the barrel. So you've got 16 chances in 41 of matching the fifth number that's drawn. And to uh, show that you have actually matched the fifth number, I'll just randomly select uh, number five there and mark that off to show that you have actually matched the fifth number that's drawn. Now when the, uh, the final number that's drawn then, you've got uh, 15 numbers. Uh, 15 numbers that you've selected that you haven't that haven't matched yet with any of the numbers that's drawn. 
Uh, 15 of those black X's unmatched left. Five numbers have already been drawn out of the barrel, so you're left with uh, 40 numbers in the barrel. So you've got 15 chances in 40 of matching the final number that's drawn. Now all we have to do is uh, start uh, multiplying those odds. So what we'll do first is multiply along the top row. 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15. And then multiply out the bottom row. 45 times 44 times 43 times 42 times 41 times 40. And uh, run away then to working out the final odds um, amount. So with my calculator then, I'll multiply out the top row. 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15 equals 27 million. 907,200. Okay, now multiply out the, the bottom row which is 45 times, yep, 44 times 43, times 42, times 41, times 40, equals uh, 5 billion, 864 million, so I'll write that down, 5 billion, 864 million, 443,200. So the odds then of, um, of um, winning lotto with a system 20 entry is 27 million in 5.8 billion. But what I'll do now is simplify that fraction so I can express it as one chance in a certain number. And so to simplify that fraction then, all we need to do is to divide the top by 27,907,200. And divide the bottom fraction by the same amount, 90, uh, sorry, 27,907,200. And that's the same as, you know, multiplying by one, but that'll actually simplify this fraction because what it'll do there is um, it'll be one chance in a certain number. So 27 uh, million divided by the same number over there is going to be one. 27 million divided by 27 million is 1. And then the 5.8 billion, divide that by 27,907,200 equals 210.14. There we go, 210.14. So therefore, then the odds of uh, winning lotto, winning first prize in lotto with a system 20 entry is one chance in 210, which is um, yeah, sort of uh, fairly fairly good odds, I suppose. So uh, to prove that's uh, correct then, I've uh, found a printout from the internet, from the Lotto Simulation website. It's uh, odds of winning, um, winning with a pick entry or system entry, and down there, is one chance in 210 with a system 20 entry. So that proves then, so that proves then that my calculation is correct. Okay, well I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.